Hi, hi. It's the Tiny Monster Spacey. And. The other package! Uh, this is something that I've been needing for a while. I just. <clears throat> I was struggling to find the right size for me. Obviously, if you've clicked on this video and you see the channel is Magical Cosplay Duel, you know it's cosplay related. So. Yay, bubble tap. Bubble tap. Bubble wrap. No, it's not. My new boots. Uh, let's see how you open it. There we go. Oh, they have a nice feel to them. And on the side, they have a little zipper to help you get like your cap and all that in, and then you just zip it up afterwards. Have all these eyelets. Here's the other one. And I know, okay, these boots are supposed to be for my Alois Chansey cosplay, but I'm also going to use them for Sailor Saturn. Uh, what I needed is to see how long the laces were so that I can then go to, uh, See if I can get some purple ribbon to do the Alois laces with. If not, I'll just use these laces for the time being. And then up here, they also have little things that you can put your laces around. Like so. So really cool. Uh, these are supposed to be a size 4, I think. I got the smallest side I could. Uh, and also, I know Alois has a heel, and I just got their small heel, just because, again, it's really hard to find um, <coughs> um, not adequate, um, accurate shoes in my size without it costing a whole bunch of money. And I don't have a whole bunch of money, so I got these. Uh, let's see. Oh God, how much should I even buy these for? Let's see real quick. If my internet will work real quick, it's not. Let's see. Uh, and I got these on eBay. If you, anyone's wondering, they were. Thirty-one seventy-seven. So, not exactly cheap, but hopefully they're sturdy and that they'll last quite a long time. I do like the feel of the material. So we'll see. Uh, they're supposed to be gladiator lace-up boots, lace-up motorcycle type boots, and uh, combat. I don't know. It they they like threw a whole bunch of words. In the description, um, gladiator lace up boots, motorcycle, uh, knee high combat riding shoes, thigh high. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully these will last me for a bit. My other shoes, my other heel boots I had that I wore for. Alois and Sailor Saturn and all that. They lasted me for a while until um, <clears throat> this part right here started. Well, I didn't have a zipper, but this part right here started to fall apart. 
and that will see. These, I think I can also wear these for Abby, because these seem like an Abby type shoe. But yeah, it's just hard when you're a size three, three and a half, and you're trying to find shoes. That's mainly a kid size, and even though China has, <clears throat> China and Japan have like the smaller sizes, it's still hard to find stuff in my size. Like, the smallest they have is five in America. So, anyways, yep. That was my unboxing. I'm going to try these on now and see how I like them. So, switching cameras. So, here are the boots on the heel. They're okay, it's just they're here at the knee and so there's a little bit of give here and a little bit of give here just because um, I can't get boots in my size so they're going to be um, rubbing up around this area a bit. Uh, I do have a friend that has mole skin that I can probably put up around this area so that I can uh, not get like blisters or wear or anything like this around here. Uh, I am only planning on wearing these for like one day, not multiple days in a row. So that should help. Oh, that's my toilet. Uh, here, let's sit down and I will show you this underside right here. may have a very interesting material, but I think this will still work. And then there's the heel. Heel isn't too bad. I think I can handle it. Sorry for the litter box for you. But yeah. So. Uh, I think these will work. Fingers crossed. So. As you can see, it looks like the boots are going to work, uh, at least for a couple conventions. We'll see how long they last. I'm a bit hard on my shoes, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just wanted to let you know, I'm looking at the calendar, and this Saturday, August 11th, is going to be the Central Valley Cosplay Gathering. I'm Unfortunately, not going to be able to make it just because uh, the weather and the air here in Sacramento has been so bad. It's not healthy. It's not safe for me to attend. But I am planning on attending. I think it's the middle of the month. There's another small one day con uh, that I'll be attending. Um, Sage the Babe told me about it. She's planning on attending. And she let me know about it. So if I was interested, I could come with her and keep her company. Um, since we weren't able to make it to Barcon, uh, you'll see about that on my regular channel, Tanibishi. Uh, I'll put the link right here. Um, since I wasn't able to make it bar to Barcon, I'll be Abby for that one day convention. In September and then I have tickets for the whole weekend of Sinister Creature Con in October uh, super excited to go and uh, be a part of that again I'm going to of course be Trekkie again and then uh, I think I'm going to do like a casual cosplay to like uh, one of my zombie or zombie victim uh, cosplays I'm not quite sure which one to do yet it also depends on the weather, uh, it depends on how warm it is, or how cold it is. Um, if it's cold, then I might do like a warmer cosplay. I might do uh, Jeff the Killer, not sure, not exactly sure yet. So I'll, I'll figure it out the sooner it gets to uh, that convention. And uh, I think that's it for my convention circuit for the remainder of this year. Uh, I. I'm not sure, um, 
Sometimes uh, Global Wonder Wonderland has a cosplay night. I don't know if uh, Daredreamer, Sage the Babe, and all them are going to make it this year. But if we are, then of course I'm going to vlog and dress up uh, then too. But for now, that's my cosplay night. Excuse me. Cosplay night. I'm super excited. <sighs> Yes. And then next year it's MA Los Angeles. I almost said MA no. MA Los Angeles is gonna be my first convention of the year. Super excited to attend it Japan. I'm crossing my fingers that hopefully I have ribbons this time around that I can pass out. Um, I'm going for the twenty four ribbons so that I mean not the twenty four ribbons, but the four hundred ribbons. So I have 200 of two different ribbons. Hopefully it works out okay for my first bout of actually having ribbons and not borrowing them from someone else. But anyways, ugh, it's late here. I'm going to go to bed, relax. Not, not to bed, but just relax, end this video. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!